Hello everyone, today we're gonna have a more chill video. So grab yourself a little tea. We are going to maybe answer some tea because we're doing an AMA. It's been a really long time since I've done a video like this and I think, you know, about time. There's been enough that has happened in my life that I feel like I have so much to talk about and share with you all. But I'm curious to see what questions you have for me. So I did a little Instagram post asking if you had any questions for me. Make sure to follow me over there if you want to ask me any questions in the future because I will definitely be doing another one. So let's get into it. We ain't wasting any time. Oh my God. The first one from my husband. Why are you so beautiful? Stop. It's making me blush. Our anniversary is actually coming up. 12 years of marriage, 20 of being together. <laughs> Two decades, wowie. Oh, I see a lot of juicy questions about like having kids and stuff. Oh, <laughs> this is new. All right, this one comes from Ash. How does being a mom feel so far? Your family looks so precious. Being a mom has been one of the most eye-opening and like heart-opening experiences that I've ever gone through. It's literally like a shift that happens and it's unavoidable because your life just completely changes once you have a baby. And it's been one of the hardest things I've ever done, but the most rewarding. <laughs> I know I've heard, definitely heard moms say this before, but now that I've actually gone through it and I've lived through it and I'm experiencing it, it makes complete sense. I've had to learn to be selfless and put his needs before mine, while also still remembering to take care of myself and my relationship with my husband. And now I just see the world through new eyes. Like prior to having a son, like, yeah, I, I got it along with kids. I wasn't, I didn't like hate kids. I used to like be around them a lot when, even when I was a lifeguard. But now when I see babies and kids, I'm just like, that mother in me is just like, oh, and I just have more of an understanding. Like I, I feel and empathize more for parents. You know, when I see a kid like having a tantrum out in public, the best way that I can explain it is I feel like, I feel like I've leveled up, you know? Zing, congrats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's my nerd in me coming out. I just feel so much more mature and more aware of what I say and what I do because I mean, you have to be around kids. And even just the way that I react to things, I think I have more patience now, especially when it comes to Leo. I don't know, it's just all around been really good for me. This one comes from Aless. How has your gaming life changed since having a baby and becoming a mother? So speaking of being a nerd and a gamer, if you guys didn't know, I am really into video games. Since having a baby, I just, I haven't really been as interested in them as much. Like I don't really see spending my time behind a computer, putting all this time into a game when I have this beautiful, life and child right in front of me. I just want to spend all my time with him and I want to like just become a better parent. So rather than playing a game, I'll be like reading parenting books instead. <laughs> so my life has drastically changed. I don't really play games anymore for enjoyment. The, the only reason I play now is to experience them with Leo. I've started playing Minecraft with him, but even then, like that's only 30 minutes a week. <laughs> so my gaming life has drastically changed. I'm not saying, you know, goodbye to gaming forever, but just right now, it's not really for me as much and that's okay. And I'm not completely like signing off. And I, you know, a lot of people have been retiring on YouTube. I don't really see myself doing that with gaming because I feel like gaming is always gonna be a part of me and a part of my history, like a huge part of my history and like where I'm at right now. So yeah, it's just different. Like I've been focusing more on working on myself and developing, you know, myself and learning about myself through these videos that I make on this channel, through just reading and self-care and journaling. It's changed a lot. This next question comes from OK Esme. Has your relationship with Mario gotten harder ever since baby Leo was born? Uh, <laughs> that's a tough one. I wouldn't say it's, it's 
gotten harder. It's just like a different challenge. I will say that I do understand why a lot of issues and problems arise once a couple has a child or introduces a baby into the relationship because it's a completely different dynamic that you both have to learn and grow together. I feel so fortunate to have a husband who is really communicative. He is very open about his emotions and he is just such an amazing dad. He helps so much with Leo. Um, I remember in the very early phases of like having a newborn, that was the most difficult part of this entire thing. I feel like it's just that adjustment is just so quick. Um, he would, you know, get up with me and change his diaper. And I wasn't, I wasn't in it alone. I didn't feel like I was, you know, raising a child alone. And I still, to this day, like he, he lets me sleep in the in in the mornings and he wakes up and takes care of Leo and we alternate and switch off. And we just have this really great, flow together so yeah our relationship has it's changed as parents you know we don't have that like one-on-one -on -one time as much as we used to but we make an effort to go out on dates and to have alone time and we're just we're lucky to have the support system our family like we do here super close by because you know, we trust them and to watch over Leo while we go out with friends and we're actually going on an anniversary trip, which is really nice. So the key takeaway here is just having a partner who communicates with you and who is patient with you and respect is like the number one important thing because there are times where, you know, baby's screaming, he's having a meltdown, I'm trying to keep it together and just like knowing when to say you're like, you need your space or you're touched out or you just need them to do something is so important. Uh, Cam says, happy early Mother's Day. What are your Mother's Day plans as a new mother? I completely forgot. Mother's Day is probably like happening now or <laughs> tomorrow the, at the time that I'm posting this video. But um, this Mother's Day, it's my second one. We are actually gonna be doing a photo shoot me and Leo, that's my only Mother's Day wish from my hubby is to give me a photo shoot like I did last year. We did um, like a milk bath photo shoot last year and this year I just wanna do something a little more simple, but um, nothing crazy. We're gonna both see our moms the day before. We just made reservations to this nice little spot in LA. I'm sure I'll be posting it on Instagram if you guys wanna see what I'm eating on Mother's Day, but we kept it super simple. Just hanging out with the with the fam. Since we're on the topic of Mother's Day, this is from Teddy Ta. What is your favorite part of being a mother? Personally, I think becoming a mother has made me really get in tune with my feminine side, which is something that, is, that kind of has been unfolding for me here on this YouTube journey. But growing up, I was very much into like the more masculine things. Uh, even just my energy, I felt like was more leaning towards the masculine side. But now I'm just, I feel so, light and girly embracing that femininity so just really like tapping into that divine mother energy and as far as like experiencing being a mother with leo i think just seeing him grow and learn and it's just amazing to to see just life happen before your eyes and that gives you a whole new perspective on life so it's just like it's literally a whole new world i think there's so many benefits that come with becoming a parent and not to mention staying active and running around keeps you young. <laughs> this one comes from Ari Berry. How do you balance being a working mom? That's a good question. It's hard. <laughs> I actually saw a few questions like similar to this. How do you make time for every activity in your day? Honestly, there's not enough time in a day. I always feel like that. And now having a child, like the days go by so much faster. I do try to have a balance. I mean, we also have to make a living, right? So we have to work. I'm lucky to be able to have my mom come and help watch Leo. She comes three days out of the week to watch him before a nap time. And then once nap time is over, um, hubby and I will switch off if we have a lot of work to do. But it's a process. Like, I'm not gonna say that I have it down uh, because it changes all the time. Uh, and like, there's still some areas that I feel like I can work on, you know, like sometimes I'm doing good and spending time on myself and working out and self-care. And then it's like, I forget about that and now I'm working. And then it's just like, 
my mind is all over the place. I'm pretty scatterbrained. <laughs> I'm always thinking of work. I've been trying to work on not always thinking about work and just being in the present moment. So when I am working, like my full attention is on working. I don't have any distractions, no like YouTube videos playing or anything. I just get the work done and I focus. And then when I'm spending time with my son and my family, I try not to work and be on my phone. And I just spend that time and give him my full attention. And then there's times where, you know what, I, I have to get work done and I just let him play by himself and just let him kind of do his own thing. And I'm not, you know, all the time just giving him my full attention. I also don't want him to feel like someone always needs to be like there with him. I want him to be able to be a little more independent as well. For me personally, I use a to-do list. So I actually use the app called To Do and I make a checklist of the things that I need to get done for that day. And then if I don't get through them, then I just roll them over to the next day or, you know, I will work at night too. We call it our second shift. <laughs> At the end of the day, instead of relaxing and watching TV, I'll work on other projects where it's like, okay, I'm gonna work on like art stuff. I also have a couple calendars that I use. Um, for our work, we use Asana, but I'm sure that you could even use like Google calendars is really good. I'm a very visual person. So I like to just have my whole week planned out, just everything laid out. And I love to check mark things off when I get them done. I just feel so much more accomplished. I think one thing that's really important with feeling like you have a balanced life is to also give yourself grace you know if you fall off from something that you've been doing um, it's okay you can get back on at any time and not to beat yourself down if you didn't get to spend as much time with your your child this week or you didn't get to finish this project I will say that having a child has made me slow down on things and just enjoy the simpler things in life which I think is important as well especially with our work culture everything is just so like go 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 rushed all the time and it's just really unhealthy to always be in that mindset so you know give yourself some credit and breathing room to just live away from your phone also finding other fun ways to interact and play with my son, which brings me to something really exciting. I wanted to let you guys know, I actually started another, it's a side project. I, I guess it's a side project, but I was actually looking for answers of how to play with my son without buying all of these toys and still like working on his development and making sure he's hitting those developmental milestones. So um, I actually started a new project called Tiffy Mama and I do have a YouTube channel. I upload short form content there and then I will be uploading longer form of DIYs for you to make for your littles and um, for you to play creatively with them that also, you know, helps them developmentally. So um, yeah, that's a new project that I started. We have a website and I do little drawings for him and then I sell them for like a dollar if you want to print them out yourself and do them with your child. So that's a whole nother thing that I'm jumping into and I'm really excited about it. It's getting me back into drawing and creating and just thinking creatively in a completely different way that I'm not used to because it's for a child. <laughs> but I'm so excited because it's just getting me back into that creative flow, the creative energy and being able to give that creativity to my son and him for him to be surrounded by it and for us to play together has it, it just everything just aligned and I was like why why don't I just try this why don't we try it out start it see where it goes I feel like I have all the skills to do this and especially having like the creative background having my art degree doing a bunch of DIY tutorials on YouTube for the past 12 years and like it's it just aligned perfectly so I you know Took the plunge and started something new. I will link that in the description if you are interested in checking it out. But I just think it's so cool how a lot of you out there have babies now too, and we can just raise them together. <laughs> like, I don't know. I feel like it's just, it just feels right. And I feel good doing it knowing that I'm, I'm, 
providing something that can help a mother and father even bond with their child. But yeah, I feel really good about the project. Like my reason behind it, the why behind it, just knowing that I can help other people and, and help raise the future <laughs> is just, I don't know, I wanna say it's my purpose, but I don't wanna get like too excited and attached to it because I've had a lot of failed projects in the past. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, that will be in the description if you're interested in it. And yeah, I'm just excited to be creating on a whole different level. Back to the questions. This one comes from Paul. Are you going to do another Minecraft series? If so, modded or vanilla? So I've been thinking a lot about this and another kind of small announcement, if you guys didn't know, and you're into Minecraft and gaming, I created a whole new Minecraft channel. <laughs> a lot of new things. A lot of new things happening. My husband and I have been working on remastering my Minecraft Oasis series. We've been up in the quality through audio visuals and I've also have been going through and making the whole entire series PG. It's a lot. It's been a lot of work. Slowly and steady, I've been doing it, but we started the channel and the whole reason behind that was just, I've been enjoying showing Minecraft to Leo and I feel like in the future, if he's gonna wanna watch my gaming content, not all of it is for kids. <laughs> Even though a lot of kids like to watch my channel back then, it really, I was making it for an older audience. So uh, I wanted to have something for him to be able to go to and watch and me know that like, all right, you're cool to watch these videos. And so that's why I wanted to just like, just relaunch it. Plus those videos are so old and the quality, quality looks like really bad. So that's like the reasoning behind the start of that channel, but since I've been playing with Leo, I've really been thinking about starting a series with him together. I just recorded an episode three of playing Minecraft with my one-year-old, uh, but what I don't want is for it to turn into work. Like I just want it to be something fun that him and I experience together. And I don't want to put him in front of the camera and in front of a computer screen too often. Right, like, so with that in mind, the only way that I really see myself creating a new Minecraft series would be with my son, just because coming back to the whole gaming side of things, I just wanna spend time with him. But I don't want to force anything and I just want it to be as natural as possible. So will there be a new Minecraft series? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of just going with the flow. I don't have like a solid plan, but the idea of playing Minecraft with my son and kind of teaching him through Minecraft and making it more like educational does sound very appealing to me. <laughs> and if I were to ever do a new Minecraft series, once I have like the Oasis stuff uploaded, I would probably just do it on the PG Minecraft channel because uh, my main gaming channel has over 5,000 videos. I just realized that. And I know I touched on this before, but I felt like for a while, like the algorithm just doesn't know what to do with my channel because it's so diverse. Like my videos are not getting out to a large audience or to my subscribers because you know, subscribers don't really matter. And so I, I think just having like a fresh start, just a clean slate of like, this is what the channel is. This is what we're doing here. And that's my approach with posting the videos currently on my main channel is it's just for fun. Like it's, it doesn't make me a bunch of money anymore. I don't make a living off of that main channel anymore. It, it is what it is. And the videos are what they are. And I just, I don't worry about it anymore. So yeah, if there is a new Minecraft series, it will be on the Minecraft channel. I will link that in the description. Yeah, I don't know. Can't give you a solid answer there. This one comes from Akeemin. How has YouTube affected your life? I mean, I feel like this is a good question and answer coming off that last one. Um, YouTube has affected my life greatly and it's really gotten me to where I am today. It's let me express myself freely and explore and I've just learned so much about myself through creating content and it's a huge part of my life. Like there are pros and cons that go along with it, but I would say I feel I feel so blessed to have the life that I do and to, you know, have the support I do 
and to you know be in the house that I'm in with the family that I have like I don't know I am forever grateful to YouTube and anyone who's watched my content um, I just feel like I get to live out a fairy tale like it's amazing do I ever miss the purple hair I've seen a couple questions about purple hair and sorry uh, if I you know broke your hearts on you saw my short thinking I was gonna go purple again and I went brown you know I do and I don't because it was a lot of upkeep to have the purple hair it was really expensive but luckily the girl who did my hair purple uh, we would barter and I would get it done for free as long as I did an Instagram post for her so I don't miss the purple shower from washing my hair or I don't miss purple nails from whenever I wash my hair I don't miss the dry cracking breaking hair uh, you know what I don't think I'd ever go back I don't think I'd ever go back. Um, I was, when I went to go get my hair done, I didn't want to use bleach because that had damaged my hair so much. And this year I've just been focusing on my hair health. And, um, you know, it just wasn't it. It's so much chemicals too, like being around the chemicals and like dyeing your hair, like it's just not good for you. So I don't think I'd ever do purple hair again. That was an era that we can all just reminisce on. Uh, <laughs> but she's, purple hair Tiffy, she's, she's gone. She ain't coming back. I'm all about the more like natural, just kind of like earthy, minimalish vibes. I have seen this question so much. It's a big one. Are you going to have another baby in the future? That's the question. So, <laughs> mom and dad, don't get your hopes up, okay? After having Leo, it was an absolute no for me just because the whole experience, the pregnancy was great. It was amazing. But uh, just the whole birth experience and knowing that, you know, I could have, you know, not not been here anymore if it wasn't for um, modern medicine. Uh, it was kind of traumatic to go through and to experience. And um, right now I'm just enjoying my life with Leo and giving him all of the attention and all of my love. I feel like we've kind of gotten in a good flow um, just as a family right now with the three of us and then six of us uh, since we have Amaya, our dog, and then the two cats. So it's just, we got a full house right now. <laughs> full house. Um, definitely no more pets. <laughs> But um, I don't know, it's kind of something scary to think about. I know we would make it work, but I just, I'm, I'm really happy with where I'm at right now. And um, it's difficult because both my husband Mario and I grew up with a sibling and that would be amazing to give to our son. But um, you know, I don't know. That's something that Heavy and I kind of teeter-totter back and forth. Like one day we're like, nah, we're good. <laughs> let's stay here and then the next we're like but another one just thinking about like having to go through the newborn stage again though oh man Oof. and then there's the whole financial aspect of it too that is very scary and since you know I'm a content creator it's just kind of like up in the air it's not a for sure thing like you know some months are good some months aren't so that's another one where I don't have a solid yes or no like I feel like I'm barely getting back to being myself again after almost two years I don't know man that's a tough one <laughs> I don't know, man, that's a big decision there. <laughs> this will be the last one. This is from Ojizzle, and she asks, what new content you got planned out? <sighs> man, I feel like I've been super happy with all the content I've been posting on this channel. Like it's legitimately content that I would watch. It's stuff that I am proud of, that I would show my friends, and actually some of my friends do watch it. And I don't know, I just feel like that's how creating content should be. But I will say that it is a lot of work and it can be pretty pricey. <laughs> like the uh, review videos, I have so much fun doing that, but then it's like 200 plus dollars to actually buy those products and review it. And when you're doing that multiple times a month, you know, 
a girl had to put a budget on herself <laughs> so i'm trying to find a balance um, just because they are intensive. I'm one of those types of people where if I'm doing something that I love and I'm passionate about, I will go like full on into it. So I'm kind of trying to find a more balanced uh, production schedule for this channel where it's not like, you know, like week after week, like videos that are just really intensive editing wise and like mentally strenuous where I have to think of like a script and all the shots and organize everything. So um, I'm still trying to work that out, which is why we have an AMA because these are like easy to film. For the future, I have more reviews, more cooking videos. I actually got some cookbooks from influencers that I'm gonna be doing. I'm planning a room makeover for my son. We're gonna do a playroom makeover and his birthday's coming up. So another birthday party, planning that. I have some butterflies that are brewing right now. <laughs> They're brewing in their cocoons. So I don't know, maybe we will do like another vlog where I release some of the butterflies. Some of them are moths, which is really interesting. I would say just more videos where I'm exploring, you know, my femininity through my wardrobe, fashion, hair, makeup. I know a lot of you wanted to do, see my makeup and skin routine, which is something I have planned um hair routine like all of that just just content that is trying to better myself and learn about myself and also inspire you all out there watching uh, to to learn and explore and create and i want to get back into painting since i've been doing the tiffy mama stuff it's just really got me into like that more creative flow so um maybe some more painting videos and selling art is in the future so i've really just been using this channel as like my main channel content wise it's more produced it's more thought out and i've just been having so much fun here and i'm glad that you all really enjoy the content i see all of your comments i've been trying really hard to respond to them more and just create that more community aspect here so yeah that's what we got planned for the future and you know whatever crazy ideas pop up or whatever comments that I read from you guys, I take a lot of inspiration from you, from your comments. I take inspo from my son and my friends and just really trying to stay true and current to what I'm interested in while also not pissing off the algorithm. So, <laughs> so there's that. But this was so much fun to do. I think I want to try to do this maybe like every other month or something, uh, just because I feel like we don't get to do this very much. I don't do this very often and I feel like I can just talk forever. <laughs> I ramble so much, but um, I am excited for the future of this channel and I hope that you guys are too. And I just wanted to say a quick thank you for, you know, being here and watching me grow. And I just, my only hope with this channel is to inspire you all and um, just help us all be the best version of ourselves that we possibly can be. So thank you all so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. I will see you next week in a video. I don't, now I gotta plan next week. Okay, bye-bye, have a good one.